Okay, for some reason my speech today really sucks, so forgive me for that. I think it's time for an update on my drum kit. When was the last time that I updated this anyways? Four months ago? So, uh, this is the smallest tom, the 10 tom, as you know, and look at it, it's completely finished. Uh, yes, of course, the very edges still are not done, the drilling and stuff like that, which is actually gonna come now. Um, I am not so sure when that's gonna happen, as it depends on multiple factors, mainly on the CNC machine that we're gonna use. I told earlier that I really love satin finishes. I thought, well, you know, I'm just gonna make some kind of whitewash. It's kind of a very warm uh, milk white. I think that the anodized copper hardware is gonna look stunning on this uh, shell, so I'm really looking forward to that. However, I must admit that it was quite a challenge and a few times I actually had to run the risk that I could actually ruin my shells. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome, I'm Valentina, I do all kind of random videos about drums and guitar. It's kind of my passion, I cannot really leave one or the other. If you haven't subscribed yet and you think that you like this content, then I really invite you to check out my channel and subscribe. I really didn't want to complicate myself during the process of making these drums, so I kind of try to make it as simple as possible. Basically, the process consists into five layers of uh, water-based whitewash. And then for the last four coats, I have sprayed a clear uh, water-based lacquer to seal and really make everything nice and smooth. I'm really wondering who of you actually knows how this thing is called, so let me know below in the comments. To make the shells look nice at the end, I decided to sand almost every in-between layer. I think every two layers or three layers I have done, uh, which is just a slight, uh, slight sandpaper. I think I have used the 1200. What that makes is that it's gonna take away all the inequalities and for the next layer it's actually gonna seal better and ultimately it's gonna feel and look better. For the last layer, I think that was a little bit the most uh, challenging part of this project mostly to actually get the smooth shiny finish without actually polishing it of course this is a matte lacquer so you're not gonna polish that so for the last layer I concluded that I will wet sand it and then use a scotch kit I think it's called like that my memory is really bad and I went layer by layer until the thinnest of this kit and honestly, it left it amazing. I don't think that it needs anything else. It just looks stunning. And I honestly even was very afraid that I was not gonna get such a good result. Of course, I still have to take away a lot of the paper that was covering the bearing edges to prevent them from damaging and after that they can move to the CNC. However, as I am not in a hurry, you know, with my health and have a lot of things to do and stuff like that. So yeah, I guess that that's it for this time.